on the 12th of December 2018, the Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia issued a notice to airmen. The acronym is called NOTAM, Notice to Airmen. And this notice to airmen unilaterally declared the airspace over Pasir Godang as an unmanned aerial vehicle operation area from the 13th to the 28th of December 2018. This notice to airmen was subsequently cancelled on the 20th of December 2018. But subsequently, on Christmas Day, the 25th of December 2018, the Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia issued another notice to airmen, this time declaring a permanent restricted area over Pasir Godang between 2,000 feet and 5,000 feet altitude for, quote, military purposes or military activities, unquote. And that this restricted area would take effect from the 2nd of January 2019. This restricted area would force flights operating to and from Salita Airport to spiral up and down close to the airport in order to traverse above the restricted area at 6,000 feet. Malaysia's action contravened established ICAO procedures. All over the world, and this is a point worth emphasizing, all over the world, aviation is by nature transboundary. Aviation is by nature transboundary. The Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore, as the air traffic services provider for the area, was neither informed nor consulted, even though these actions affected current civil aviation operations out of Salita Airport. It cut through an established international aviation route and it affected flight efficiency and safety. Malaysia's declaration of a permanent restricted area escalated what was initially a matter concerning ILS procedures, which is the norm for many airports around the world, into a much more serious issue affecting all flights <coughs> operating at Salita Airport from the north. This was not helpful for commercial aviation in the area and furthermore damaged the overall tenor of our bilateral relationship.